Today we've got Project Climb Rocks CJ7. This is an 82 CJ that I used to own, sold to a good friend of mine, Brandon. And now we've got it in the shop to do a few little minor things to it, upgrades. As you can see, it's got the Hydra Boost. This is off of a, uh, I believe a 2005 F250 we've retrofitted. Talk about some good brakes. Uh, also, it's got Howe fuel injection on the stock 258. 4.2 liter engine What we're going to do today is install an HEI distributor uh, We're going to first remove this factory uh, or Motocraft ignition module off the firewall which has uh, two connectors that go to it You've Got two connectors here that have uh, power and ground uh, Ignition probably and tack signal maybe some others that I don't know exactly what they do But we're gonna clean it up get rid of those wires and have one wire to the new distributor This is the original setup of course we've got your distributor here with vacuum advance all the plug wires cool wire goes over here to an MSD Blaster cool that we've had on here for quite some time uh, This right here is your ignition power wire for the cool and then on the other side is the tack wire, factory tack wire that goes into the to the factory harness here. And then this white wire is our tack signal for our how fuel injection. Here's our new distributor from Performance Distributors, which is Davis Unified Ignition. What they do is they make pretty much HEIs for every vehicle. Uh, we got a red cap with this one, but it comes with a gasket. To, all this stuff fits in the AMC six cylinder but it's got the old older GM HEI design. Vacuum advance, the cool is built into the cap so you won't have an extra cool. And then here on the side we'll have two connectors coming off, battery like we showed you before, and then a tack signal for the factory tachometer on the dash, as well as the signal for the how fuel injection. First thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and disconnect all these wires. Uh, get that stuff off there because we do need a different set of wires because the cap on the new distributor has a male terminal where these are female. Uh, so we'll go ahead and remove all these, get those out of our way. And we're gonna first, after we get these off, take this cap off. These things just turn like 90 degrees, I think. Or actually, no, these, are, these unscrew, sorry. The HEI is the one that has a quarter turn on it. So we'll pop these off. We know on every six cylinder, just about, that the firing order is going to be 153624. So number one, number one is down here. So if we look, put the cap back on, number one, we know number one needs to be pointing about right here. So let me run grab a Sharpie and then we'll show you what to do there okay again number one is right here so we'll pull the cap off we've got our sharpie about right here so we know about right here on this tab for the vacuum advance arm is going to be where number one is so now we'll grab us a long three-quarter wrench we'll turn the crank until this comes back around to here to number one So what we're doing now is we're going to turn the crank till we get that over there to number one top dead center. You can stop it. Now that we see we're pretty close here on that, we'll be getting lined up, we'll go over here to the crank and line up the mark on the balancer with the timing mark on the timing cover. It may be kind of hard to see in this video, but there are timing marks down here on the cover. We've taken a Sharpie and painted one black, and now we've got our line here at the tip of the screwdriver lined up with the black mark, which is zero. So that's number one, top dead center, zero degrees timing. Next, we'll remove the power wire and the tack wire from the coil.
Here's our original distributor connector. This is where the pickup coil inside the distributor signals to the ignition module. As you can see, that thing's pretty nasty anyway. It uh, needs to be cleaned up regardless. Here's the female side of that connector. You can see it's uh, corroded. Had some moisture in it probably from years of, well, 1982, so it's been plugged and unplugged a few times, but still pretty nasty. All right, we've got some half inch bolts here that, and they're tight. Uh, connect the coil to the side of the, the head. I say half inch, they're 5 sixteenths, it's a half inch head, so. All right, now we've got our vacuum advance wire. We'll lay that aside. We'll be using that. Crack the distributor hold down. We cracked it loose earlier, but we'll go ahead and take it off now. You can see, I mean, uh, when you go to adjust the timing, you're gonna retard or advance the timing by turning that while the nut's loose or the bolt's loose. So that's how you'll get it adjusted. And we've got our distributor hold down bolt removed and we'll just pull the distributor out. Usually there's a gasket down here and uh, it's kind of stuck to the block. We'll, we'll pull that thing off and uh, clean that up. We've scraped all the old gasket. Note that we have put a rag down the hole. You want to make sure that when that thing comes out, every bit of it comes back out. So we'll blow all this debris out of the way. way when we pull our rag out we haven't accidentally dropped anything in there and our rag is still intact so that's a good thing so just make sure you don't accidentally leave some in there here's our new DUI distributor new gasket here we'll unpackage all this stuff on the side of it here get all that stuff off and packaging came with a new distributor hold down I guess maybe the uh, the shank and the flange here is a little bit different shape than the original. So they gave us a new distributor hold down. And then here is our terminals and connectors for the ignition feed and the tack signal. All right, we're ready to put the new distributor down in there. What we've done, we've disconnected this wire from the cap, pulled all these four retain cap retainers turned them a quarter turn now the cap will come off however we want to look at uh, where we had it originally where the vacuum advance was aimed towards the front of the vehicle one was right here so what I've done is put number one down here a mark uh, so we'll pull the cap off and since we pulled our original distributor out and number one top dead center we want this thing when it's fully seated down in the engine to be pointed at that mark so we'll kind of get it close here might have to all right there the distributors bottomed out now we could put it right there at number one but I don't much care for how that thing's pointed down that way so what we're gonna do is ease it back up back down we'll keep going around trying to line up that oil pump down there the oil pump drive along with the distributor so we're still in number one so what we'll do we'll pull the distributor out turn the oil pump drive back a little bit because we want this thing pointed about that position right there that way it uh, it looks good however I'm looking here at these wires on the back side we might actually want to leave it right there because that's gonna keep these wires from rubbing on the head so I think I've changed my mind just now we're gonna we're gonna leave it in this spot if you look down here on the bottom the flange is fully seated, uh, bottomed out on the on the block. That way, the hold down will tighten it down there and leave it loose enough just to turn the distributor for the timing purposes later. All right, we're going to go ahead and install this vacuum advance. We're going to try to start it here when we get done, just to see how well it runs. But when we do set timing, we'll pull this off and cap it 
just to get base timing set. So, but for, for right now, we'll just leave it plugged in. Now this right here is our original tack wire and signal wire for the fuel injection. What we're going to do is splice those together and bring one wire over to plug into the tack signal on the cap. And then since this is our original ignition wire, uh, it's only like a 20 gauge, 18 or 20 gauge wire. This thing requires a little bit bigger wire just to make sure we've got a good amount of voltage uh, and, and low current uh, uh, restriction there. So since this is probably a factory resistor wire, we'll pull it out of the harness here and you can see that's original duct tape where this wire converts into the resistor wire that goes into the harness. So what we'll do is we'll take the original large gauge wire to the module on the fender and extend it over. That way we've got 12 volt ignition voltage at all times and it's not uh, stepped down with the resistor wire. What we're going to do now is remove this. This is the original distributor wire, the one that was real corroded. Since we don't need these wires at all anymore, we're going to take apart the harness and remove these wires all the way over there to the to the ignition module on that far fender. And really, it'll it'll clean up this engine bay probably, and we'll, we'll get some possibly some new conduit and tape and and get this thing back in good working order. As you can see here, we've gotten rid of quite a few things. We've got a pile of wiring, factory coil burned up. Look down in there, the plastic's burned up as well as the center electrode. Our distributor, the ignition module that was over on the fender, cap, wires, and all this wiring is related to the motorcraft ignition that was on the Jeep. Okay, we've got the distributor in. Uh, note the connectors right here. We've got a big power wire that is now uh, ignition and uh, hot and start for the distributor. Got rid of the factory resistor wire and then this connector now has the tack feed for the uh, factory tachometer as well as the feed for the fuel injection. We've rewired some of the harness, uh, cleaned it up a little bit, got rid of a, a good bundle of wiring and uh, went ahead and rewired the blower motor while we were at it because it was corroded. Uh, but we're ready to put it back together and get these plug wires on and uh, give it a start. Okay we've got the distributor uh, and the wires in. Aside from the uh, fault of the company sending us the wrong color wire, uh, we are finished with this project. So what we need to do now is uh, set the timing. Uh, we're going to set it to about uh, 10 to 12 degrees advanced. Let this thing warm up, see what happens, and uh, go take it for a test drive.